Demystifying the bead program for WISPs. Today, many service providers are using 5 GHz frequency bands to provide reliable and efficient connectivity to subscribers. Unfortunately, unlicensed spectrum is not considered reliable by the bead NOFO regulation, and therefore the location is considered unserved, even if the network is providing more than 25 megabits per second downlink and 3 megabits per second uplink. Areas considered unserved are eligible for bead program funding. That means fiber-first operators could use the funds to overbuild those networks, leveraging any technology considered reliable by the bead NOFO, including fiber. This could take away the 5 GHz subscribers. However, according to current rules, services using the CBRS band, both PAL license holders and general authorized access, are considered reliable. Therefore, areas covered by CBRS are not eligible for government-funded overbuilds, and CBRS equipment is eligible for bead funding for unserved markets. Choosing to use CBRS frequency has never been more important for service providers in the United States. If you are overlaying a CBRS network on top of a fully functional 5 GHz network, you only need to deploy the subscriber modules within 10 business days of a service request. Overlaying CBRS can be deployed in days, whereas a fiber rollout could take months or years. Service providers can get funding to install CBRS fixed wireless technology to cover homes and businesses in their service area. This will add new network capacity while also designating your subscribers as served, removing funding eligibility from overbuilds. Find out more about leveraging BEAD for eligible fixed wireless solutions at cambiumnetworks.com slash CBRS.